Alright guys, uh, we're back with Spider-Man The City That Never Sleeps Chapter 2 Turf Wars. This is part 2 of that. Last time, started this whole thing up, finished all of Hammerhead's uh, hideouts, and, and uh, basically Hammerhead killed some guy in front of Yuri and Spider-Man, and now they're just trying to hunt him down before he destroys the city with his gang war. Uh, besides that, like, comment, subscribe, notifications, and all that. We'll get right to it. Me too. That was basic. I think that phone call was just MJ talking about how she's gonna run the story of uh, <clears throat> Yuri doing what she was doing, which is kind of a bitch move to me. Out of uh, MJ supposed to be some good person, and she's on, she's running the story that she thinks. Not like I thought the whole point of MJ's little thing, even in the last, even in the main game, was how her story helped stop the bad guy. And now she's saying that her story is just she's only doing this story on Yuri, not to help anyone, but just because it seems like the, a better piece to her. Which I don't 100% know how a piece on Hammerhead, who's currently in the middle of a gang war, isn't better than some cop whose dad was dirty like a long time ago that, that that's like old news like I can see what she's kind of trying to say but that's pretty old news and this is current news today like I don't know it might have helped if it was after Yuri gets off the force or whatever something like that but it's it's stupid let's just keep it pushing MJ's gonna MJ I guess A guy a few blocks have you seen what's going on out there I don't trust anybody all this for some random guy and they're doing why do we have to move him does no judge understand that anyone shows up without an invite So are superheroes, but kind of crazy the Avengers are nowhere to be found. Here you go. Making sure that my uh, sound works now each time. I'm terrified. All quiet so far. Maybe. I swear I can't. I'm getting tired of seeing these dumbass memes. So Xbox guys are that. they're trying to they're acting like the PlayStation guys are supposed to be so upset we don't get to play old games again. Because PlayStation likes to bring you some new shit each time. They don't like to pull... Hammerhead thugs. Always in the wrong place at the wrong time. I gotta keep that witness safe. This witness is staying with the cops today, folks. Nothing to see here. Move along. Stop Spider-Man! No way we'll get at the witness from him here! Put him in the front! God, that is annoying. That little trail of red stuff. Badly. I should keep an eye out for more of Hammerhead's guys around the city. Okay, now the crimes are unlocked. Wait, hold on. Jesus Christ, how long do I gotta wait? Why couldn't they have? Spider-Man, how's the hunt? Good. Got a lead on the dogs. Okay, five. How are you? Ten. Tired. Just finished 15. calling my men's families. Haha. Uh -huh. Well, then let's fuck up. 20. <laughs> hard. Good. But hard. How is it good? Don't worry. Okay, on to the Auerbach Theater. 
It's done sitting time. Okay, so 20. Just five per little spot. Uh, and I gotta fight more of his fucking guys, and they're the worst, because they just spam Sable Tech. Because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. There it is. They are crazy. Oh, that is annoying. I took them down. Shouldn't they be happy? Boom. One less high speed chase on the streets. You're welcome, taxi drivers. And Harlem, who for some reason think that I don't help. Now I basically gotta swab or swing around for a while because I gotta do all these little crimes. I don't, I don't think that they should add these in the next game as something we do. Really, like have ra have random crimes pop up, sure. Police escorting a key hammerhead witness. I should make sure they're safe. Hammerhead knows where our safe house is. We have to move a witness now. Now, no kidding. You got the address for the new safe house? Okay, let's go. All right, another one. Uh, these are going to be annoying, naturally. Because it's basically an uh, escort mission. But I guess I can't fail, really. I just got to follow them. I just basically got to... What do I do? Sight in case things go sideways. Well, then tell them to stop moving. Okay, that was a little interesting. Glad we were able to keep that witness safe. We? I'm just I'm just thinking about how all of MJ's little point was that she wants to produce her stories to help and everything but now it seems like she's just doing this for the bread you guys are gonna have to come up with a better evil plan than this how did Anyone see the- oh, I guess over there could have saw it. I'm not. I wouldn't be. Now he's just going to try you again. Only in New York. I'd move, personally. Because fuck this place. I don't know why New York is just the breeding ground for all this bullshit. I really do wonder what J uh, JJ thinks about the Avengers. Like... Is his heart on just for Spider-Man? Because that's what I'm wondering. Like, if other heroes exist, does he care? Or is it all Spider-Man? Which is tough. Why don't they just... 
kill each other, then try to kill me. Got it. Come on. He got out. Damn, this guy's tough. Yeah, no way would I ever get back up for a fight after being pulled 10 feet in the air. By a guy in a red, white, and blue spandex suit. That's not worth it. They go Hammerhead don't pay me enough for that. I was I was just watching The Sopranos and something I really wanted to think was Tony is a really good liar, kinda. Like he can lie on the spot about something. If it's kind of refreshing to see people lie honestly, in the sense of. Leave the cops a nice gift, all wrapped and everything. Someone called for a ride. Straight to the raft. I got four point nine stars. I'm stuck. My whole thing is that Tony is actually good at lying on like, I don't, I, I guess it is a more serious show, but I don't know what it is about some TV shows. They pretend as if human beings don't know how to lie. Like I have seen not even like comedies like How I Met Your Mother. Hammerhead's men are the worst threat to this city since the... Not even comedies like garbage cans in August. Not even comedies like How I Met Your Mother, where for some reason characters can barely ever, even adults can barely ever keep a secret. Like they'll sit there, someone will just ask, "Do you know something about this?" And be like, "Uh, uh, you know I can't lie. I hate lie." It's like come, you're an adult. You just don't talk. That's all a lie is. Just don't say anything. I really do hate that in shows where like characters do not know how to lie at all. Even in some serious shows, they'll ask someone, and some idiot will give like the weirdest look that is a hundred percent a liar's look. Like, how the hell can a grown man not know how to lie? A grown man, woman. Uh, what works on this guy? I don't know what to do with this guy. There we go. I don't know, guys. Magia, Hammerhead, the cops aren't gonna care who you work for. Good luck with that. True. This shit ain't worth it. I don't. But yeah, in shows, I just don't. I just. I really hate when characters can't lie like an adult could. Like you don't have to be the best, but just simply not be like genuinely bad. It. It. It really pisses me off. I'll be sitting there, like, you don't have to tell him. Just don't talk. And even if they know you're lying, say nothing and they still don't get the information. But Tony, that man has lied on the spot. Come on, sharing is caring, guys. You should think about talking to the police, too. All this over a couple snitches. I mean, 
That's my thing. What does it really matter? We, we, doesn't everyone already know Hammerhead is a criminal? And he did the crime? Getting pretty sick of these Hammerhead guys and their fancy guns. Like at one point, Yuri literally watched Hammerhead kill a guy right in front of her. That's a crime, right? He 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 would he's going to jail no matter what. I don't know why they haven't executed him. Like just because his head is bulletproof doesn't mean his like body is. I still don't even understand where the where where the burst of strength comes from. It's to bring him coffee. Why would I want to bring him coffee? Just so I can get headbutted? There we go. I don't know, guys. Maja, Hammerhead, the cops aren't gonna care who you work for. Good luck. I saw that I have like. <sighs> I have like 61 or something out of 74 achievements, and all the ones I need are like the dumbest little ones. Like high five 10 people, or uh. Oh Christ. Or uh, what's it called? Or like, I think it's like read all the newspapers and shit. And I was like, I'm not doing that. That is. That's the type of things that. Sure. It's as easy as that. That was actually quick as hell. Everyone's safe. I'll let the EMPs handle it from here. Thank you, Spider Man. I think. I really think they were gonna kill me. I do wonder if Peter. If Peter was to ever get married, have kids, let's say with MJ, sadly enough, because Black. Let's say Black Cat wants to be stealing till she's like 90. But how would that work? I, I just wonder what is MJ because I know in the comics she's usually she usually wants to be something a bit safer like a model and not like an investigative journalist but I just wonder what her end goal is with it Hammerhead goons, time to get acquainted with justice that's what I'm calling my webs today justice <laughs> because like is she gonna be like a stay-at-home Oh, Jesus. I forgot they do use that thing. I'm just I'm just kind of wondering between the two who's going to be doing what Hammerhead's made like the worst threat to this city since the smell of garbage cans in August because Peter has no way to really have a good job I guess now with Miles he maybe can I don't know how he does everything in the comics but oh is that all of them oh, that was quick quicker but uh, with with Miles that at least helps him somewhat to have moments and he could maybe have a job and everything they both could they could help each other cover for things when one's not busy. But let's say him and MJ have a kid and everything. Like, who's going to be doing what, I wonder? Because I, I already know MJ, for some reason, would not want to be a stay-at-home mom. Part of that would probably be because Peter couldn't provide. Never really saw what the big deal was being a stay-at-home mom. Like, not... What's it called? Not why it's good, but why it's... I never saw what was the problem with it. You know, you just stay at home, help the kids. I've seen videos of, I don't know, I saw a video of, like, a girl talking about how her husband, like, she loves her husband so much. And I was like, okay, I read why. And she said the reason she loves him is because he, she's a stay-at-home mom. He works, cooks, cleans, and does the laundry. And, I, and the only thing I could do is sit there and think, well, what the heck? What does she do then? Let's all just put the guns away and go home. No? Well, I had to try. I mean, if, like, if she, if he 
cooks, cleans, does the laundry, and works. Does she just sit there with the kids and make a mess all day? Which is kind of fucked up to me. Because I've always thought, like, if, if, if one parent's going to be staying at home and the other's going to work, then I always assumed it's as simple as the one that's at home watches the kids and cleans up after themselves. Like, I I'm going to be honest, I grew up with multiple sisters. I was, like, around... Why, how old was I when I had my first sister? Younger sister. I think I was around... Let me think if she's... 23, she's 16. I think I was 8 when I had my first sister. And even at 8, there were times where I'd stay at home with her. Not all day or something, but... I'd stay at home for a couple hours with her. And it's not that tough. Maybe that's... No, because even then... That makes it even worse, because, like, it makes it even easier. Because if you have one kid, I don't... I, I just don't understand how these white people be having one kid and just them at home, and yet their entire house is destroyed. Like, your house does not... If, if you, your husband... It's just you, your husband, and one kid. One kid does not make that big of a mess. I know TV shows make you think they do, but I've had plenty of sisters. They do not make that big of a mess, especially since they can't walk. They can't walk or do much. The only mess that gets made is the one you leave behind. Oh, you are kidding me. Oh, I thought there were more coming up from the ground. But I've never understood why in the in the world, like, girls are acting like being a stay-at-home mom is the toughest thing. As if, like, oh my god, I have to stay home, watch the kid, clean up everything. Like, it's just three people, right? Like, as long as you clean your dish, let's say, let's say the, the first night, it's just you, the kid, the husband, nothing's dirty. The next day, what, you do some laundry? Any dishes would just be from you or the kid, really, and then you watch the kid, just clean them up, feed them. It's, it's not, it's not rocket science, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I know TV shows and movies hype it up, but it, it really isn't. I've had three sisters, I've been through it, changing a diaper is not that tough. I know you guys wouldn't know the right thing if it was shooting you in the face. But for the record, your friend's doing it. <laughs> Crisis is tough. You better run. No. Ah. Hate that. I hate when they get across to another building. But I'm being for real. Can anyone actually tell me, like, what is so tough about watching one kid? I can slightly get even two, but I think, like, household chores. Like, I, I, that's why I've never gotten it. Being a stay at home mom sounds like a pretty good deal. I get a certain sense, but if you're like with someone who you know, you know you're going to be with forever, I think it's a pretty 50-50 trade. You watch the kids when he's not there, and then you cook, clean, whatever. That does not take that long, bro. In all honesty, cleaning can take an hour at most, if we're being for real. I get deep cleaning can take a bit longer, but it does not take eight hours to clean a house at all. There, there are maids that clean mansions in less in in less than a day. In all honesty, and even they don't bitch about Those it. Those cops are moving a hammerhead witness. I should follow just in case. But to clean up a house that only you and the kid could possibly get dirty does not sound that tough. Changing a diaper isn't tough. Making a bottle isn't tough. Hell, God even gives you your milk in your body to to like give it out. You just put them on there. Boom. And I know there's other complications, but nine times out of ten, it is not this deep. People, I, I don't even know what's that. Like, because even Bill Burr made a joke about it. He was like, people say being a mom is the hardest job in the world. Like, no, it's not. Being on a crab boat is pretty tough. Being a brick, being a bricklayer is pretty tough. Fuck, being a cop is tougher. You get shot at. Like he even said it as as good as I could say. 
What is happening? Oh crap, okay, okay. You okay? Of course hammerhead goons had to show up and ruin everything. Let's do this. Oh my god. Okay, there's that. I actually really would like to hear someone if they could explain to me what the, what's the big deal about it, like, because I don't see what the toughness is, like, it's a lot tougher, in my opinion, actually no, in my fact, to, you have to get up every day at like 6am or whatever time, drive all the way to some place, rain, sleet, hail, or snow, and then work all day continuously without even, emit, without real breaks. You like one 30 minute break while you're at home in your comfortable clothes hanging out with your kid in all honesty. And even if you don't do the job once or twice, uh, whatever, you don't get in actual trouble. Like, no husband's gonna, I mean, no good husband's gonna come home. There's gonna be like a dish or two in the sink and just start screaming. I hope. But it doesn't sound like it's that tough. Even me even like living alone is not that tough and if i live with like another full adult and we had a kid here What's a i don't do when the lesser of two evils is also kind of evil you know are you serious he shot a this man shot a rocket at me point blank What? And should be it for this area. And then all that will be left is this Police area. Police can handle both sides of this fight from here. I'm really trying to think it like because I don't I always like to look at both sides but I can't see because this woman's side was that and I even of course naturally see girls in the comments say I'm like yeah as he should or some bullshit like that he should work you should just sit at home and do nothing I guess like look I guess at least there's a adult with the kids to you sit there and like sometimes cook them a meal or two but he should work cook clean do the laundry and everything and you just do nothing like that is no wonder you like him that's called a slave <laughs> that's just dead that's dead ass just a slave who does whatever you say it's like those girls that sit there and will say oh my guy pays for everything does anything i say and lets me cheat on him but we're in an open relationship where he he doesn't mess with other girls only i do I'm like no duh you like that you have a per you have a slave Come on. I think Hammerhead's guys are getting worse at this. If that were even possible. Yeah, they do. I'm not even going to jinx myself because those uh, little spots were ridiculous to me. would love to be able to oh god what's a spider to do when the lesser of two evils is also kind of evil you know
Come on. They can't calm down for two seconds. There we go. But I'm not gonna speak to. I got. I guess I'll. handle both sides of this fight from here. I guess I'll stop speaking on it. It's just. It's just really weird to think about. Like I can't see. I don't know who has. Who's hyping it up so much? Who's making it sound so difficult? What the like? Like I said, from I've had three sisters from when I was one when I was eight, one when I was nine, and then how old's the other? She's like, I think one more when I was like twelve. I've been there with them the entire. I I've helped and watched with my mom and everything, and I'm not and. Looks like a street side interrogation down there. I better check it out. Hey fellas, miss me? And I get, and I get what I'm saying sounds like, oh well, she had help because it was me and my only year younger brother that uh, were helping. Like we'd watch them and feed them and stuff. But that's only when she was at work. Because she worked, she couldn't help do that stuff sometimes. So she was at work, and we'd help watch them, or feed them, or bathe them and everything. And it, it I don't, none of that was difficult. I'm gonna be honest. None of it was like, it, it takes minutes to do most of that stuff from any age. And even when they weren't doing anything, the, the house really doesn't get that dirty as long as you don't allow it to get that dirty. It was just, it was just like the three of us, then the four of us, then the five of us. Now at that point, it kind of did start getting dirty sometimes. But I don't see how one adult woman and one kid is somehow like... And the lesser of two evils is also kind of evil, you know? yeah i just don't understand how they're I don't, I don't understand how you can like end up with like a sink full of dishes everything like i, I even saw a guy who was like making the same point as me he's like it's not that tough to do the chores when it's just you your husband and a kid like so, some laundry here and there and you and you, basically you clean up after yourself and then maybe you'll make like breakfast or dinner clean up after that and it's not that deep like people acting like there's just a magical sink full of dishes laundry baskets end up full every day like it's it's not that deep especially if you keep up on it since that's your part of the job if i'm working making all the money and i pay for everything and you help watch the, and you watch the kid and clean up for like eight hours a day each that's not that tough when most of the time you won't even be cleaning you won't be cleaning cooking or doing any you'll really just be watching the kid that's like the bigger, that's like the biggest, toughest part of it. And even then, as long as you're not a complete idiot and know what you're doing, kids are pretty easy. They get distracted by keys. What? First time failing, first time failing. That is my first. Stop turning the camera. Do they not see I'm fighting? Who was the idiot that let them... Slight work. Boom. I think that's all 20 of them. Yep. Oh. On to it. In their windows. Oh, 
I need to, I do need to be calming down with them. Not really with some of the stuff I say, because it's it's just what I believe. I can't if someone wants to tell me their opinion and I can if they can explain their logic to me, sure. But I can't at least from what I said, even about the stay of mom thing, I don't see any other form of logic. It's not that it's not that tough. It's not that deep. Like, say after eight hours he comes home and you're just like I don't imagine most of the time you're sitting there painted in sweat, covered in dirt. You had like a, a, a 30 minute lunch break. Like I get there are times when kids are on, on ass and on dick with everything, but it's not like kids are just like screaming 24 seven. That's a hyperbole. That's you throwing it up out of there. If a kid was up literally 24 hours a day, you might want to go to the hospital. Cause I even saw a video where like a girl was like, well, my husband, I'm going to have to, I think she said for some reason she's going to have to stay up with the kid for 24 hours because something with it. And she was like, husband can't because he has work and he needs a night's sleep. I was like, yeah, he does. And of course, all the bitches in the comments were like, he should stay up too. I was like, he should stay up all night so he's tired for work. It was like, you don't have a job. You don't have anywhere to be tomorrow. He literally does. The place that pays for your f internet so you can post these dumbass videos. I swear sometimes. I don't know what happens to logic some days. I actually made pretty good timing on those. I just got back in. And it took me like not too like half an hour to take all of that. The must be inside. Looks like they're safe. How does my suit stuff work when I'm wearing this type of suit? Because this is just a suit. Yep. The sable bullshit. God I hate it. This is cheating. Oh yeah, this stuff is cheating. If this popped up, why Sable even make these dug dick things? I gotta come up with a better name for him. He comes up with something. I can't remember. You see that? You see how he was still gonna get me, even with him clipping? Oh my god, it's it's crazy. Are you kidding? Oh, he calls them dig boys. If you would calm down there, look. See that? You see how dumb this fucker is? Hey guys, honestly, I hear this one is better on demand anyways. Jesus with these guys. No, oh, he doesn't. There we go. I really like when I get a two for one. That's fire. Oh, you're kidding me. They break the building with explosives. Overkill much, fellas? We've gotta take Hammerhead's men out and disable these bombs. Does Hammerhead do casual Fridays? The suits must be so constricting. Try spamming. Oh, I just throw them? I guess. More explosives. Gotta move fast. Don't you guys ever get tired of losing? I'm just saying it must be a morale breaker. That really would break my heart if I constantly lose. 
I've said it before, but losing to the same guy for years straight is ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know if I was supposed to like do something with those, but okay, the Don should be safe now. I should head inside and I'm check actually on sitting here protecting mob dons like a fucking idiot. Fuck them. They can die. Why am I protect these guys have committed crimes? This is ridiculous. I can't believe that the they haven't been sentenced okay. to death row. And ready to find a new hideout. Or ready to just flip. It's the only way not to die. Guys, we really need to rethink your security set up. I do. I hate that too. When characters talk for like six minutes after walking All in, right. like your, his face was tankers. pointing at that either Obviously. way. I get if he caught a couple words, but he got like ninety percent of the sentence out. Crap! This did not go well. Yuri, he got away with the Dons. What? Are you serious? The sable tech he's been stealing. She had more in her arsenal than I thought. What? You told me you would take care of this. Will you shut up? You told me not to worry. I did, yes. I screwed up. I'm sorry. I literally no didn't. He had more tech than I could have possibly no known more time about. Off. I'm on this now. I'll call you when I've got a plan. Crap. Great work, Pete. Just great. Yeah, they have you do everything. You do everything, and when anything goes wrong, all the blame's on you. It's that bullshit. <sighs> Kill me. There's always time for great content, especially when it stars New York's favorite spider guy in a series of high stakes life or death challenges. Come on, you know you want to join the fun. Her voice is pissing me. It's so weird. I can't believe there's actually a human being out there that had sex with this woman and took her virginity. That's just that's got to be depressing. Like, what happens to you in high school? Like, I. Is Screwball actually... I don't think she... She's not in the characters, are, is she? I don't remember seeing her. Nah, maybe they'll show her when we catch her. But... I can't imagine... What happened to this woman to make her this fucking lame. Just this wet for content and for clicks. Some I've seen people do some lame shit, but this is ridiculous. You know, I'm actually in talks with this competing subscription service, so... She got 3 million... 27... 2 million 700... Like, 50,000 people. 27k watching right now. Okay. Since the last time, I modified the Trojan she installed to ping her location each time I do one of her shows. Five. Once I get enough pings, I can triangulate... Find her hideout to... and send her on early hiatus, straight to Rikers. Looks like it's just five of them. It's not too deep. This is a stealth challenge. Okay, I can do that. Gotta move quick and quiet. I don't care. Ooh, how did he not see that coming? I like a bleed there on this side. Another one down. Oh, hey Rasta Pasta 757. Thanks for the follow. What? I, what does dox mean again? Is it like when they call the SWAT team on you or some shit?
Minty Breath 77 is wondering. Hey, Screwball, can I interview you? Oh, that's actually, that's actually pretty good. Sure thing, Minty Breath. Check my website for speaking and appearance fees, huh? Ew. Oh, fuck her. I think this is... This is what? A bomb? Oh, gadget. Where I gotta fucking use this little bitch's exact things. God, I hate her. She is... She's really something. I, I, can't, I really hope they don't bring her back in. It, I don't know. It looks like from some of the stuff I saw, if, as long as we're just doing stuff with Miles and Peters purely and they don't make us play as MJ, I swear to God, if they do it, Jedi Survivor can t or Hogwarts can take Game of the Year. I don't care. This game don't deserve it at that point. So I gotta use a certain gadget. Oh god. Thanks to that cutie little Trojan I slipped into your suit way back, you can only use two of your gadgets. No cheat codes! Okay, that makes... that's not the worst. Good thing my gadgets are so awesome! Oh crap. God, she sucks. I am so gonna gift this. She said gift this? What? Talks like- I swear I hate the way this- Who- who at Mar- who at, uh, Insomniac thought of this woman? I was about to say, it wasn't, uh, letting me. This is, uh, very annoying. I There we go. About myself right now. Oh, that's gonna go viral tonight for sure. That's it. That's her big speech for me. Listen up. We can't let Hammerhead continue to arm himself, and those burrowing tanks will tear apart our lockup. I'm spreading the remaining sable gear throughout the city. Give him multiple targets. Force him to thin his men out. Okay. What do you need from me? Protect the transports. We'll have multiple runs in transit at once. Be ready to back up any that get into trouble. You got it. Once the gear's relocated, we'll focus on Hammerhead. Stay sharp. Lives are on the line. Not liking what I hear in her voice. Yeah, no one is. Time for Yuri after this. She's putting in a lot she of fucking attitude grief, towards the guy that I does this for free. Down. Let me see if I can pick up the police comms channels. If only... Repeat, convoy three. Press. If only we, like, had trained Miles earlier... He could have helped us. Things have gotten pretty bad in my comment section lately, so my amazing fans are heading out to the streets to track down Why does that guy look like that? Am I Amazing fans unhinged escaped inmates. Potato potato. Like he's red. I better make sure nobody gets hurt. Oh, um, Jake, this is going to make a great clip for social. 
That is not fair. This is not fair. Well, I guess I guess the chance to kill him. What the? Fu oh my god! Come on, I am in the middle of dodging. Jesus, he is just... God, there we go. Good, but I can do better. No. Fucking pissed off. in the next game they let me decide when I need want to take calls they don't just fucking make me answer them kind of like GTA listen up we can't let hammerhead continue to arm himself and those burrowing tanks will tear apart our lockup I'm spreading the remaining sable gear throughout the city give him multiple targets force him to thin his men out okay what do you need from me protect the transport we'll have multiple runs in transit at once be ready to back up any that get into trouble you got it once the gear's relocated, we'll focus on Hammerhead. Stay sharp. Lives are on the line. Not liking what I hear in her voice. I gotta make time for Yuri after this. She gives me a lot of grief, but I can't let her down. Let me see if I can pick up the police comms channels. Unimpeded. Repeat. Convoy 3. Frag oh my god, let me finish this or he's... Route appears clear ahead. No hostiles visible. Safe house 2. Ready to receive. Okay. So far, so good. That it? Okay. Well, I'm sure the call is going to start again, which is going to be very annoying, but let's deal with this. Sure, Hammerheads guys are going to pop out of the fucking cut, like they always do. Photo bomb. Fucking god, I hate this woman. He has super strength, durability, speed, stamina, I, and these are all just a bunch of. Age. What shit? I really do. Who is? Lion ass. You have got to be kidding. Okay, now I'm just showing off. Oh 
almost awesome. I should put that on a business card. You really think a showing like that is going to go viral? Let me see what is going on up there. These dogs are barking. Uh, we're going to have to call that the, uh, we're going to call that the cutoff point, the end for now. Uh, so far, solid progress. What did we really do? Found out that the hammerhead took the mob dons. Uh, we dealt with all the magia crime spots. Yeah, it looks like someone's there. Uh... And we dealt with most of Screwball's bullshit. We'll deal with, we'll finish her up in the next part. I gotta kind of bounce quickly. Someone's calling me. Uh, do be sure to like, comment, subscribe, notifications, and all that stuff. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.